So when the music stops and then I can come forward. Good morning all and welcome to this our Wednesday act of worship and it's so good that you could join us this morning. This morning is the 1st of September, spring day and although it is cold outside, I trust and pray that this few moments in God's presence will warm our hearts. It's a new month, and we trust and pray that it will also be new beginnings for all of us. So welcome, and thank you for joining us. This morning, too, the church celebrates the life of Robert Gray. Robert Gray, the first bishop of Cape Town, in our saints and seasons, we are told that Robert Gray's consecration as the first bishop of Cape Town in 1847, Anglicans were obliged to look at the governor of the Cape Colony as the highlight authority in church matters and for confirmations or ordinations to passing bishops who ship my dock at Cape Town en route to India. Gray, in 25 years of undaunted labor, laid the foundations of the Church of the Province, organizing, organizing its diocese, framing its constitution, and awaking its members to the awareness of the missionary task that waited at its door. He was a man of deep devotion, unsparing of himself or others in the performance of his duty whose life and witness the church of this province can never cease to give God thanks. And so we thank God for the life of our first bishop of Cape Town, Robert Gray. And because he pioneered, we are. And so we give God all the glory, thanks, and honor. And so, beloved, the Lord be with you. Praise the Lord. Praise him, you servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's name now and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so let us pray by saying the colic for purity together. 
Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. And so in the quietness of this day, we come before God. We thank God for the opportunity and privilege that we have of just bringing ourselves and throwing ourselves at his feet to bring all those things that trouble us to give it to him as he waits to forgive us. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbor. We confess together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, pardon our sins, and set us free from them. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning, as we remember the bishop, Robert Gray, the first bishop of Cape Town, we pray. Merciful Lord, you sent your servant Robert Gray to lay firm foundations for the church of this province. Grant that thankfully remembering the consistency of his labor and zeal, we may build up and strengthen your church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from First Corinthians. Chapter 3, reading from verse 10 to verse 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, reading from verse 10. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, 
the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burnt up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Hear the word of the Lord. Our pointed psalm is Psalm 67, and it can be found on page 682 in our prayer books, Psalm 67. Let God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face shine upon us, that your ways may be known on earth your liberating power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing, for you judge the peoples with integrity and govern the nations upon earth. Let all the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will heal its fruitness, fruitfulness, and God, our God, will bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to the good news proclaimed in Matthew chapter 28, reading from verse 16 to verse 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountains to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the gospel of Christ. Dearly beloved, this morning we thank God for Bishop Gray. We thank God for his love of God and his obedience of accepting God's call upon his life. A young man coming to an unknown continent labored and toiled in love and so built God's church as it were in darkest Africa and here you and I are today 
recipients of that labor of love, that obedience in following Christ, in changing the world for Christ. God's word is no different to us this day as he calls you and I to continue the work, to continue to go out into the world, to baptize those in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, to draw others to Christ through our lives and through our lives of obedience. And so I trust and pray that as we continue in our faith walk with Christ, that we would too serve God in love and obedience. Amen. And so, beloved, let us affirm our faith by saying the Nicene Creed together. And you can turn to page 108 and join me as we affirm our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. I will be using form B in our Anglican prayer books on page 112. This morning as we meet in the presence of God, we are so mindful of those that are suffering at this time those who are ill, and especially those that have tested positive for COVID-19. And as they suffer, we pray God's peace upon them, his healing touch upon them. We too think of families who are struggling at this time. We pray God's hand of peace upon them. We think of, especially at this time, the people of Afghanistan and all places that are in turmoil. and where people are scared, where people live in fear, we pray God's peace in all those situations. 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have taught us to pray and to give thanks for all people. Receive our prayers for the Universal Church, that it may know the power of your Spirit, and that all your children may agree in truth of your Holy Word and live in unity and godly love. We pray for your servant, Tabu, our Metropolitan and Bishop, together with Joshua, the Bishop of Table Bay, and for all other ministers of your word and sacraments, that by their life and teaching, your glory may be revealed and all nations drawn to you. Guide and prosper, we pray, those who strive for the spread of your gospel, and enlighten with your spirit all places of work, learning, and healing. We pray for those who have authority and responsibility among the nations, especially for Cyril Ramaphosa and his cabinet, that ruling with wisdom and justice, they may promote peace and well-being in the world. To this congregation and to all people in their different callings, give your heavenly grace that we may hear your holy word with reverent and obedient hearts and serve you truly all the days of our life. In your compassion, Father, comfort and heal those who are in trouble, sorrow, need, or sickness. We praise you and thank you for all your saints, for the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Jesus Christ our Lord, and for the heroes of our faith in every generation. And we remember before you the servants, your servants who have died, praying that we may enter with them into the fullness of your unending joy. Grant this, Holy Father, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And so we greet one another with the peace. We, for our part, have crossed over from death to life. This we know because we love our brothers and sisters. Anyone who does not love remains in the realm of death. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Peace be with you and with you. So let us pray. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. For us it becomes the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Our first Eucharistic prayer can be found on page 117. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and indeed our duty and joy. Lord and Heavenly Father, God Almighty and Eternal, always and everywhere to give thanks through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Because through him you have created everything from the beginning and formed us in your own image. And now we give you thanks because you sent him to be the great shepherd of your flock, who after his resurrection sent forth his apostles to preach the gospel and to teach all nations and promised to be with them always to the end of time. And therefore with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we acclaim you and declare the greatness of your glory. We praise you now and forever say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So hear us, Father, through your Son, Christ our Lord, through him accept our offering of thanks and praise, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine, so that they too may be to us his body and his blood. For on the night that he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so to after supper he took the cup. And when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink it, drink of it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. And so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Holy Father, with these your gifts, we your people celebrate before you the one perfect sacrifice of Christ our Lord. He is rising from the dead and is ascending to the glory of heaven. Gracious Lord, accept us in him, unworthy though we are, so that we who share in the body and blood of your Son may be made one with all your people of this and every age. Grant that as we await the coming of Christ our Saviour, in the glory and triumph of his kingdom, we may daily grow into his likeness, with whom, and in whom, and through whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour be given to you, Almighty Father, by the whole company of earth and heaven, throughout all ages, now and forever. Amen. As Christ has taught, we are bold to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread which we break, is it not the sharing of the body of Christ? Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bear of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeem of the world, give us your peace. And so, beloved, draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. Amen. For those receiving communion at home, we pray, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, refresh me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O oh, good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds hide me. Let me never be separated from you, from the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. God's mercy endures forever. And so we declare ourselves missionaries as we say the following together. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as, living, as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. God bless Africa. God our children, guide our leaders, and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Beloved, our Wednesday in-person services has started today. And on Sunday morning, we'll have a 7 o'clock Eucharist service, as well as the 9.30 service. Please, if you could register beforehand, and uh, you can do it uh, telephonically or via email, so that we know how many people are coming, and uh, because we can only handle 50 persons per service, so if you could kindly do that. I trust and pray that you will have a blessed day further. And so the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Mass has ended, beloved, so go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.